Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to hide the pro content item in the media layer in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you're one of the people that just doesn't like pro content for whatever reason, then go ahead, like, and subscribe. Join the over 11,000 people who have, and uh, help me understand why that's the case in the comments below, because I just ignore things that I don't think that I need. So, anyway. So, I've seen a few people say this in the ProPresenter users group, and I'm a little confused by it, because, as I say, I... Uh, I just ignore stuff that I don't want or need. But some people are really upset about the addition of pro content into the um, into the interface of ProPresenter. Now, if you want me to show you how to get it get rid of it from the bar at the top, there I can't help you. But if, on the other hand, you just want to get rid of it from the media layer, then I can at least show you how to hide that. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in Pro 7 and uh, right down here is what I'm talking about where it says Pro Content. If you click here you can expand it out and I normally tell people go ahead and register because it does have free stuff and maybe you would find some of that useful. But I'm not judging. It could be that you have very good reasons not to like it. So first thing that I would do is I would collapse that. So that makes it smaller. Uh, again, I can't do anything about this necessarily. I mean, I suppose I could make sure that uh, the search feature always covers it up. But, you know, anytime you click on anything else, it's going to come back again. So I don't know that that would be helpful. Um, the obvious way is just to click the media uh, button here, and that'll hide all the media uh, layer and the live video layer. So you, it's just not an issue whatsoever. But what if you use that fairly frequently and you're just annoyed? Well... Um, the first thing is you're going to want to make sure that you use this double arrow to make it the size that you want it to be. Hey there, aspiring Pro Presenter Pro. Are you tired of getting tangled up in tech trouble? Want to impress your congregation with mind blowing visuals? Well, look no further. Introducing ProPresenter 7 Training at Church Tech U, your secret weapon for unlocking ProPresenter's full potential. Join me as I dive into the world of captivating presentations, smooth transitions, and jaw-dropping effects. From beginner basics to advanced tips and tricks, I've got you covered. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. Visit churchtechu.com slash free trial for a free month now. Did I mention it's free? And revolutionize your pro presenter game. Your congregation will thank you. But knowing that if you make it like that big, first off, that's not going to show you a lot of items in your playlist. But secondly, it's going to make what I'm about to show you a little bit more difficult. Let me just, I'll just do one row here so that um, it's not super difficult. So you'll notice that I have five of these media playlists. If you want to know why they're called playlists, I've got another tutorial about that. But I've got five of those and pro content, which is still showing up. So this is something that I tried just to see if it was possible, and it is. So next to where it says Playlist, click on the little plus button, Add Playlist. Click on the little plus button, Add Playlist. Click on the little plus button, Add Playlist. Keep doing that until the bottom playlist is hidden down there, and then just scroll up ever so slightly. 
Okay, still not there. Let's do one more. And there we go. So, you can do that. Now, what I would do if I were you is I would put these at the bottom since their only purpose in life is to hide pro content. And then, so if, you know, they don't show, they don't show, and that's cool. But there you go. And now you can just deal with life and not have to think about it. You can click on your own playlist to your heart's content. And any time that shows back up, just scroll back up just a hair, and then it's hidden. So that's how to go ahead and hide the pro content playlist item in the media layer in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to... Where's the button? Right there. TDM.FYI slash pro the number 7 and quick. Give me your name and email address and I'll make a login for you for free instead of the $29 it would normally cost. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.